I did not go to this school with a shirt that somebody left at my house. And I wore it because, you know, these nice big shirts. One of my friends, she left it over there and I stole it. Because if you leave something at my place and I like it, it's mine. I Hi guys, so I just want to do this real quick, like, impromptu video. I would like to talk about shampoo. And I don't know if you guys have known in my other video, but I stated that I usually don't use shampoo. I usually use a cleansing conditioner. This right here, the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Cleansing Conditioner, is a con cleansing conditioner that I use. April 24th, that Friday, I was out to wash my hair because the next week after that, which was May 2nd, I was going to get my hair relaxed which you can see I did in that week. So I hadn't washed my hair for three weeks, so my scalp was pretty dirty. So in my mind, I was like, you know what? I need something stronger than that Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Cleansing Conditioner. So I'm gonna pull out my Oldie But Goodie, my favorite shampoo. Because I've been on my hair journey almost for three years. In the beginning of my hair journey, I always used to use shampoo. Just once a week, always use shampoo. I stopped using shampoo because I felt like it was just like, when I would get a lot of new growth, it would kind of matter the new growth a little bit. So I stopped using shampoo. This, which is the Elastica QP um, shampoo. And I used to love this stuff. It has like no sulfates in it. I don't think so. Yeah, it does have any sulfates in it. And it's pretty like soft and gentle on the hair. So I got this and I filled just a little bit of shampoo up and then the rest of it with water. Like, I mean, that shampoo was so diluted and it was so runny and it was just basically like water. I'm gonna dilute the shampoo down because I don't wanna have to use too much and I just don't want too much in my hair. I took the fun twist out and I finger detangled up. Just a light finger detangler. That was my problem number one. I didn't detangle it enough. In three sections I had, one in the back, middle, and then two on these sides. And I never sectioned my hair because I just, when I'm washing, I can't keep the sections separate. So I just always put my hair going back. But this time I'm gonna be fancy and use sections, which I have a mask. So I shampoo put my scalp, you know, I put it in here, and I put it straight on my scalp. Of course, it was running everywhere because it's so water, getting in my eyes. But I was just getting it in there. I'm gonna get myself pretty clean. And I know after I washed out the first time, my hair was a little bit dry. And I should have stopped with the one lather. But I decided to do two because, you know, on every shampoo bottle it says lather, rinse, and repeat. So I decided to repeat. That's my problem. Once I put that stuff in and was lathering up, my hair just matted up. Like, I got back this stuff and I put this in my hair. And it did soften up my hair, but my hair was still matted. So I was like, maybe if I dry it a little bit, it'll be able to, you know, dry it a little bit. It'll be able to, like tangle so I put my t-shirt on and get out the shower you know mix up my deep conditioner mix and I, I take the t-shirt off it is still mad and I can't even like finger the table when I go like this all you see is just like matted clumped hair and I'm like oh my goodness panic like, my hair has never mad this bad and I'm just standing there just like oh my god it's mad oh my god it's mad so what I have to do I tried the finger thing it wasn't working so I took my shower comb and I just started raking through my hair like by this time i'm just like all right i'm gonna have to cut my hair all the way off the shoulder lift. i'm gonna have to come on here and tell everybody that i messed up and y'all might just unsubscribe to me because i don't know nothing about hair because i obviously don't even know how to use shampoo properly without matting my hair up i was so pissed and i'm just ripping through my hair ripping through my hair and i was like oh my god i'm just gonna lose and i hate when people like oh you stretch up and act up too long like no i had my routine down pat so i'm about to be three years in the game i know what i'm doing so once I was finished detangling all of my hair, I had this big bald head ball. And this is before I even put my detangler in. This is before I even really detangled really well. I was trying to get the mat and clumps out of my head. And it took me about almost two hours. Like I had a detangler, I tried to spray that. That didn't work. So I was just ripping through the bad boy with the comb. My ends still look pretty decent. Like, they actually, I didn't actually lose as much hair as I thought I was gonna lose. Cause I was still gentle, even though I was looking through my hair. So my whole thing is like, if your hair does mat up, there's a way to unmatch your hair. Like, I start from the top, yeah, I start from the bottom, untangle the bottom, then once you get in it, cause usually like, your hair is not mad at the bottom, it's mad like right in the middle. I don't know what happened. I think the things that cause my hair to mat is one, um, I didn't detangle well enough. Two, maybe my shampoo was old. 
you know, products go up. So I was like, maybe the shampoo is oh, or maybe my hair is just not the lather, rinse, repeat. I just don't repeat. Repeat. I should have only done one lather. For some reason for me, it's an issue. Simplest things is an issue. You have all that one thing you can't do. Everybody else can do. You just like I can't do. Like I could not yo yo. I still can't yo yo. The concept of the you know the flick of the wrist that I don't have it. But and shampoo and hair journey. I'm the girl who can't use shampoo. Now, this is my rant. I don't even like. It's not even probably a helpful video. It's just letting you know that on your hair journey, like I said, I'm sure the good, the bad, the ugly, and I have some real ugly. When you on your hair journey and you lose as much hair, like, don't panic. Don't panic. Just breathe in life. Your hair mats up like you might just have to take a seat. Take a seat at your kitchen and pull it up. Sit down and just get to work. Like turn put some Pandora on. I put some Pandora on. You know, some like slow soothing music to keep me just zen out. Like, whew, calm. And it will work. But know that my hair journey is nowhere near perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. It's never been perfect from the beginning. I think it was perfect for like the first six months and I got real cocky and then it was like Gotcha, and I got my first setback. So, yeah. Little things like shampoo that you think is nothing can mess you up. So, it just knows, like, on this hair journey, you have to make sure you take each step. Like, detangling your hair before you shampoo is necessary if you have a curly or textured style. And, um, I just want to say, I, I, I know it's Taurus season, but us Geminis, like Gemini season is around the corner, best season out there. So if you are a Gemini, what up? Party. I just hope you enjoyed this little rant about how my hair matted up, because I told you I'm told you it's good, bad, and ugly, and this was real ugly, really bad. Like, I almost cried. I don't think I've ever cried on my hair journey about anything, but this time, like, I almost cried. But yeah, so just be patient. And if something happens in your hair journey that you don't like, or oh, your hair mat up real bad, put Pandora on, grab a seat, and get to coming. Cause that's all you can do. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video, this random video. And yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.